I say, uh, you too. Good morning, good morning. That boy looking dead at the camera, you hear me? Good morning. If it's your first time rocking with the ball, <laughs> I be the K-I-N-G. SPR double three. That be me, King Spree. And you locked into the rivers, they tell me. Reporting live from Savannah, Georgia. The weather about 62 degrees outside, not a cloud in the sky. Praise to the most high. And baby, you've been waiting on that mixtape to drop. You've been patiently waiting too. The mixtape coming soon. And I promise, girl, you're going to love it. Now check me out, check me out. First and foremost, like the video. If you made it this far, like the video. Just like it, man. Likes are free. Likes are free. Come on, help the boy out. We had 170 subscribers on the road to 200 by the, by the summertime, hopefully. Summer, summer, summertime. So, this video is for my healthcare workers, nurses, therapists, CNAs, PCTs, LVNs, LPNs, RNs, um, PAs that are in, whatever people that are in school and people that are in the field already. Burnout, burnout. Now we ain't talking about the burnout in the whips, you heard me? Even though the boy got the Hemi engine on deck, 5.7 liters. No, we talk about burnout in the healthcare field. I know y'all heard it before. Back when we were in school, elementary and they were like the baby boomers are gonna be older and they gonna need people to take care of them and that's where you come in. And we all said, they, they they coached us, yo, hey, healthcare, hey, you're going to get these benefits. You're going to work in a hospital setting. Then they start putting uh, shows out like Grey's Anatomy and um, different things like that. They had y'all thinking y'all going to be Meredith. They had y'all thinking y'all going to be Meredith, right? They didn't tell you everything that's going to come with that. But that's a whole nother video. Burnout. Burnout. So... Me personally, I've worked in the healthcare field for going on, this is my fifth year. The summer will make my fifth year. And I'm going back to school for nursing to be a RN. So this is going to be about, when I'm done with school, it'll be about eight to nine years of working as a CODA, Certified Occupational Therapy Assistant, and working in a healthcare setting, whether a skilled nursing facility, whether a nursing home, I did adult daycares, I did pediatrics for a little bit, one of my rotations, I did a hand clinic, and now I'm working in an inpatient rehabilitation in a hospital. I say all that to say this. I have a little bit of experience, not a lot, but a little bit. And in my small sample size, I've seen a lot, especially working in the COVID, uh, when the COVID first broke out and they had the COVID units and we had to wear the, ha the hazard suits and we had people dying literally. It wasn't just the nurses that were dealing with that. You know, we were, we were dealing with that heavy, heavy. Imagine a, a, a patient getting cleared from the hospital, but still actively sick and basically dying. And now you're bringing them to a, a, a rehab center where there's barely any um, PPE. And now they're expected to get stronger to go back home. And some of them didn't make it. And that's just, you know, reality. And it was, it was a stressful thing for everybody. And then the, the uh, employees themselves are getting sick and, 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 and it becomes a trickle down effect. Um, a couple of employees died too, actually. Uh, rest in peace. But point I'm trying to make to you is that burnout, burnout, burnout. Now, burnout is when you essentially feel exhausted and there's no more that you can do, right? I know for me personally, I don't really experience the burnout because of how I manage my time and how I view jobs itself. Now, before I get into the topic, I don't want to make it seem like uh, you can't get burnt out. You can get burnt out. Your mental health can be compromised. These jobs are very stressful. There's a lot on the line. You're taking care of people's lives, literally. You have a bunch of demands to meet. And I'm sure as a nurse, from what I've seen, you're running the show on the floor. A lot of responsibilities in your hands. But let's talk about who is at the helm. Now, I have a couple of friends that are RNs. I have three friends in particular that are RNs. One is uh, going back to school to be a CRNA. The other two are, are, are working, doing their thing. And I think one of them is considered being an NP. And they're both, they're all doing their thing. All, all, all living pretty good in life. And what I've noticed from their side is that I've never heard them tell me a story about a burnout. I've never heard them tell me a story about it being stressful. Now, granted, I know it's stressful for them. I know they've dealt with situations that are stressful. But they don't talk about it. You know why? Because they're able to compartmentalize in their mind 
I got to take care of business. You heard me? And then the rest, I can't really that while I'm here, I'm here. And we're going to finish this strong and then move on. But let's talk about what I've seen in my situations. I've seen a lot of, we'll just say outright, a lot of women. The field is, the, the healthcare field is mostly women still. And nursing in particular is probably, what, I think it's like 85% women or, or a little bit higher. Um, and men are 15% or a little bit less. I've seen in those situations that the women, because they're unable to manage the emotions appropriately, everything's stressful. Everything's always stressful. There's always a deadline looming. There's always a, 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 the standing order by the doctor is not there. There's always a, um, I, they're scared to call a doctor at night. Like there's always like a thing. And I've seen women nurses come into into a, a, a patient's room and be flustered and not even know what's on the on the board and da da da. And I've seen male nurses come into the room and I've seen them take care of business, boom, boom, boom. But I've also seen the reverse. So there's women that handle their business. I'm just saying by and large. You got to be able to knock it out and move on. Easier said than done. But if you've been five years, six years, 10 years, 20 years, some of these nurses have been 40 years in the game. By now, man, if you're 40 years in the game and you ain't got no property, you ain't passed go. Now, that's a problem. It's a problem. So for me, working on as a CODA, Certified Occupational Therapy Assistant, we do a lot of, other than medication and, and IVs and the things that the nurses actually do, we do a lot of patient care stuff. My goal is, my, my, my job is to make sure this patient can go home stronger, balance better, more endurance, that they can dress themselves, they can get to the bathroom safely, they can bathe, they can eat, they can comb their hair, they can do what they call self-care tasks, activities of daily living. Sometimes I got to take the role of we go to the bathroom together and they can't clean themselves. I got to step in, unfortunately. My goal is to instruct them, give them education, get them stronger and practice it. But if they got to use the bathroom, I'm in there. I got to figure it out. So what I'm trying to say is that we deal with a lot of stuff with the patients as well. A lot of stuff. I'm not here to compare the two. But when I go into work, even with my coworkers, man, I see them. These people stressed out. Oh, my God, Mr. Jensen, da, 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 da. Mrs. Jensen, da, 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 da. and that's not a real person's name. Honestly, I'm just making something up. But I, oh my God, they they told me that they I know I, I just don't know what we gonna do. And I'll be sitting there like, oh, that's what they said. Damn, that's crazy. How we gonna? Yeah, yeah, I get it, oh, girl. And they they want me to like indulge in their like stress, and I'm like, I mean, I I my goal is to make the patient as as well as they can be. But I don't take this home. Once I leave, I leave. It don't it don't register to me like that. I'm able to block it off. It don't even in school, same thing. People just stress stress over tests and all that. I was going out on Saturday night. You gotta plan your days and plan your weeks ahead of time so that you know how to when you get into your mood, you gotta get into your mood and take care of business. Do you hear me? And if you do that, you can have the backside being taken care of, right? If it's a seven game series and I take care of the first two games, it's gonna make game three and four a lot less stressful. You hear me? And that's what I try to do. When I go into this job, man, I promise you people are already, it's 645, people are already stressed. They just got there. And I'm like, man, I, I get it. The job is a job, but you gotta, you gotta figure something out. You can't come in every day doing the same thing and think it's just gonna change magically and complain about the late, oh, overnight staff didn't do this or night staff didn't do that. How are you going to fix it? And if it's really that bad, then y'all got to have a meeting. And I understand it's easier said than done. I'm not saying that me saying this is going to just, and it's going to be back. It's going to be how it's supposed to be. It'll never be how it's supposed to be. How, how, the, how, the, how the healthcare uh, setting is, the healthcare field is set up. They want to pay you as little as possible to get as much work out of you. So that's just kind of how it is. That, that's capitalism at its finest. But... You got to be in a situation where you learn how to work the system. You learn how to work it for you. That might mean you work two days instead of three. That might mean you go part-time. For those that can't go part-time, you got to work three days. You, you, hey, it's the middle of the summer. I got my hoodie on. You got to get down in the trenches and be like, right, I'm going to just knock these three. Yo, I'm going to knock these three shifts out. And then I got four days. And then every so often, I'm going to schedule myself a fucking long-ass vacation. And that's how I'm gonna re rejuvenate. And we gonna, we gonna figure this thing out. But if you got it, if you let it weigh on you every day, all day, 
you're always gonna be in a bad situation. I know my, my co worker be looking at me like, yo, how you always getting out of here on time, bro? Like, how you always walking around, you don't seem stressed, you're not worried about none of the about the job, or something I don't know, something we ain't doing, yeah, something y'all not doing. And a lot of that, unfortunately, has to do with just how your mindset is. My mindset is, I'm okay with being, I live with my mother right now. I'm okay, I'm okay with just, I downsize, live, live with my mom right now, paying rent, mind you, <laughs> struggling my ass off for a bigger goal. I'm okay with putting my, if the middle of the summer got my hoodie on, I'm, I'm okay with doing that for a while to get to the next level. I did it back when I used to ride a bike everywhere. I had no car. I did it when I told people I was going back to school and I had to pay X amount of dollars to do it, working full time. I had no way to get around other than this bike and the fucking school was 20 miles from where I live. Like, we figured things out. I'm showing up to fucking school with a goddamn sweating, looking crazy. Gotta go change in the bathroom before before the class start. Meanwhile, kids are riding around in fucking nice cars and mom and dad got them. We gotta figure things out. Especially when you got this on you. You gotta figure things out, you hear me? And I know the system ain't set up for us to, to win, but we gotta find a way to win. And as a result, you got to learn how to put daily routines, weekly routines, goals and objectives, and just shift your mindset to a point and educate yourself, of course, to a point where you can knock things out and have to worry about like, oh, I'm stressed about this and the third. Now, you're still going to get stressed, but it's how you deal with the stress. You're still going to be, you think I walk around here never stressed? Of course I'm stressed. But how do I deal with said stress? You understand what I'm saying? Y'all put in the comment section, if y'all work in the healthcare field, yeah, probably. I, I know y'all probably won't agree. If you, anybody that watches the video, especially a woman's going to say, I'm 100% wrong. There's no way to do it. But I think, and by now it's too late. If you've been working 10, 20 years, it's too late. What, how, who you are is who you are. But if you took the time to really like, a lot of times, not a lot, all the time in the morning, I spend a lot of time educating myself with the videos, audio, visual, audio, reading an article, looking at emails, looking at comments. I educate myself on just everything. I pick a topic and I just dive in that for a couple weeks. That don't mean that I'm the smartest person walking around. That don't mean I'm better than you. I'm just saying my process. And in my process, I've learned a lot of things of self-education, a lot. And that's how I bring these videos out. That's how I have so much to talk about in these videos. And maybe one day people will see it at a higher volume. But for now, I appreciate each supporter. But my point I'm making is that there's ways to get around a lot of this. We just got to figure out what our way is. So is burnout real? Yeah. But you decide if you're going to be burnt out or not. You really do. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Join the kingdom. This has been a message brought to you by the good people over here at Spree ENT. It's going to all make sense real soon.